Sometimes I just don't know if Lake Louise is worth it as a destination. It is 7.06 in the morning and we're just going to turn up to the shuttle place and we're just going to see if they've got any room at all. So stressful. I just don't like this kind of stuff. Especially when I'm doing a hike, I need to be like mentally prepared for this kind of hike. And it's just like, I don't even know if I'm doing it today. We're David and Sarah. At the end of 2021, we packed up our lavish Aussie lives into four suitcases to do a two year working holiday in Canada. The awesome sights and experiences you're about to witness are the result of two people prioritizing fun, adventure, and each other over financial security, career goals, and social ideals. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming adventures. Let's see if they let us on, guys. So you're not gonna get on the first bus? There are no buses available to be sold today. Good morning, everybody. We finally got a bus ticket. They're extremely hard to get. Make sure you book months in advance if you want to reserve a Parks Canada shuttle. So we got our bus ticket, but we're not guaranteed a spot on the bus. I'm selling you tickets for 5 p.m. today. So let's see how we go. We're trying to get on an 8 a.m. bus. Moment of truth. See if we get on. Seems like everyone's just getting on. We're in a seat. Yes. I would never do it because it's stealing, but I literally walked on the bus and showed them the ticket with the date covered up. So this is a season pass if you want it to be. Thank you. <sighs> we're here. Are you ready for a five hour hike now? No. We haven't even told you what we're doing yet, but you know when this hat comes out, we're up to something. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing 14.6 kilometer hike, the equivalent to about five hours of hiking. Elevation gain, I think it's like 550. That's what we're doing today. Super excited, ready to roll. I'm also fully equipped today with my koala adventure socks. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. It's not gonna hike itself. going but we decided to walk along Lake Louise Lakeshore this time because we've already done the trail to Lake Agnes so it's very beautiful it's not as busy also we just saw a bear sign and the last time we saw one of those temporary ones we saw the bear so yeah. this could be interesting I don't know if it's like the middle of our hike or like at the end of it but there's a tea house that's what we're shooting for a nice cup of tea I took mine off when I got out of the bus. It's been pretty flat so far, so. We're only 2Ks in. True. We've nearly finished the lakeshore perimeter. <laughs> but it is. More little steep bits. So far we're doing good. We're feeling good. We're pumped. We are 3.54 kilometers in. What? Yeah, we're one fifth of the way there. Oh my. But we love it. We love it, but we hate it. Yeah, it's like, why do we do this? But it's like, this is why we do this. Exactly. And it's like, why do we do this? Emotional rollercoaster the whole way. One glacier there, one glacier there. I do not know what they're called. And there's a mini glacier. 
I don't think it's a glacier. <laughs> That is a whole thing of ice. We're walking on like this little cliff area. It's so cool. There's like rocks on the side of us and then there's like a little cliff over there and some people are walking down there as well. I've always wanted to do a hike where it's like not a lot of people. You feel like you're in the wilderness, in the mountains. There's rocks everywhere. Like this is like a dream. Dream. Goals. Hitting goals, right honey? bucket list. I'm not going to weigh in on politics or whether or not we as humans have contributed to it but the planet definitely used to be a lot colder because from what we know about glaciers you can see between this ridge line and this far ridge line all the way down there used to be solid ice. So hundreds of meters thick, hundreds of meters long and now we can't even see the ice. That's the Fairmont in the distance there. And that's like a ways. We are at the first tea house of our hike today, which is the Plain of Six Glaciers tea house, but we're only about one third of the way through our hike, which is around about six kilometers through. So let's have some refreshments. <laughs> we didn't want to stop there because we don't walk. Just saw an avalanche. It was so loud. Still going. So we decided to just keep going instead of stopping at the tea house. Got to get past that halfway point, you know, before you start to wind down. So let's shoot for the Lake Agnes tea house. Woohoo! Onwards! I have to show you again because this stuff just blows my mind. From what I understand about glaciers, that little patch of ice over in the distance there is what's left of what used to fill this entire valley. Some people wonder why we are like hiking. This is why. Sometimes you have to hike about five hours just to get to felt like that and it's all worth it. Like this ridge that we're walking along is where the glacier used to come up to. That black stuff down there is actually also ice and it used to come all the way up to where I'm standing and we're probably a good hundred meters above it. You can see over there behind us is where the path of the avalanche that we just saw before and you can see there's some really precariously placed chunks of ice and snow up there that could fall at any time. It would be so cool to see one from this close. We, we made, made it. it. How many k's? Don't end the workout. 7.58. Still not sure how to get to Lake Agnes from here. I think the turnoff might be back at the Glacier's Tea House, but we're gonna suss that out on the way back. And if yeah. we can't find it, then we'll just go back the way we came. So far, it's taken us two hours and 36 minutes. Um, we did stop quite a bit just to try and get the shots for you guys and talk to you as well. Get some Instagram reels and follow us on Instagram, by the way. This is David and Sarah. Our new Instagram page. The most epic hike you've ever been on? Yeah, this place is like really underrated. To be here is so cool. It just blows my mind how much the glaciers have receded over the years. I know I'm talking about it a lot, but it's just mind blowing to see it in person. Like the vastness of the space that the ice used to fill is just crazy to me. Incredible. You get amazing views all the way from Fairmont Lake Louise all the way up here. It's just mind blowing the whole way. Okay, is there a method to your madness here? We are at kilometre 10. My legs. Yeah, my legs are also. Are killing me right now. And your feet, right? 
and my feet are hurting. But I'm not like puffed out. You know what I mean? We thought this was like a nice loop all the way around, but pretty much we've gone right to one extremity and then we've come like probably three k's back and now we're finishing a loop. So not exactly a perfect loop, but nice hike. Wow. Unbelievable. It's like purple flowers everywhere. 11 k's in, starting to feel it. My legs are like, Sarah, please stop. <laughs> and my mind is like, you need to finish this. We've reached a fork in the road. Where are we gonna go, honey? When I lick my lips, all I can taste is salt. We're just having a bar break at 11.63 k's. Almost 14 k's, you should not have to still walk up a hill. Like, this incline. It looks like nothing in the video. <laughs> My legs are like, Sarah, please stop. This is a joke, it just gets worse and worse. I can't believe we've made it. Like, it's real. It's right, mate. I can't believe it's real. It's happening. But you know what's funny? Big psych to us because we've got 3.5 k's to go. Yeah. Awesome. Spoons for a soup, we're just going to be in the tray there. Yeah. I've got two soups for you, you and a lemonade. Awesome, awesome. awesome. enjoy, folks. Have a good meal. Got the tuna, Sarah. Got the cheese. This bread is actually made fresh daily in house, very delicious. We've actually been here before, so we know what these are about. We haven't tried the soup yet, but it smells really good. Well, that was delicious. I could have legitimately eaten about four of those sandwiches, but they're $11 each, so it's gonna be pretty expensive. Hmm? We're knackered, and we've still got three and a half Ks. We're steep downhill. <laughs> My toes all the way there. I still got three k's to go, so we're trying what we can. The next step is for us to swap socks because my socks are a lot thinner than mine. Mine are thick, and I had insoles in, and maybe it's just not the right socks. We're at the beautiful Mirror Lake. That's the beauty of this hike. You get to see so many different attractions on the way. Mm -hmm. So far, we've seen the glaciers, Beehive. Not sure which one that is. Mirror Lake, Agnes Lake, Lake Louise. It's like. Five stunning features yeah. on one hike. So, might be long, but it's pretty epic. So, at this point, we have resorted to no socks, no insoles. We have just seen flat ground and 
Sarah is very happy. She's done really good to stick around. What better way to finish off a 17.35k hike than to dip your feet in cold glacier fed water? My toes are white. Oh dear. So at this point, Sarah's tried every combination of footwear except for absolutely nothing. Ended up making it back to the van and we had dinner and had showers and we are exhausted. My two toes, my two big toes are just are not happy with me at all. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye. Bye.